Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video. Glad you're back. So today's video is going to be about doing things when you don't feel like doing them. And this comes up because with my clients and with myself, right, I'm no different than any of my clients or any of you guys watching this right now at times, we let our feelings run our lives. And what I've realized, again, with me and everybody else is that if we let our feelings run our lives and we only do things when we feel like it, you know what? Nothing's ever going to get fucking done. And recently there was a clip, I think it was uh, Joe Rogan talking about um, Andrew Tate, who's been all over the internet lately. <clears throat> and he was saying, you know, how Andrew Tate's right. Some of his ideals are anyways, um, you know, he's a very controversial subject, but I'm not going to go into that right now. The point is, when I, I saw that clip about Joe Rogan, he's like, you know, he does say some things that are true. And what Andrew Tate was saying is basically this message right here, which is you're not always going to feel like doing shit. You're not always going to feel like working out. You're not always going to feel like eating healthy. You're not always going to uh, feel like getting up and going to work. And this stems because, again, right now, in this very moment, one of the goals that I've set for myself is to release two YouTube videos a week consistently, regardless of what is going on and what is happening. Just get on the camera, get them done. And I've recently upgraded. I'm actually doing the first video ever on uh, a legit camera that I got because I'm stepping up my game. And what I'm going to do is really make some legit fitness videos. And I'm making these, you know, uh, more in-depth edits. I'm learning about camera editing and shooting and. Uh, how to piece together a story and all this shit and it's a lot of information it's gonna take a lot of time and what I realized was even though I'm putting together or learning how to put together more legit videos it shouldn't stop me from releasing content consistently so I personally became aware that I was feeling overwhelmed by all this planning and shit and I was doing and I was like bro just get on the fucking camera and start start spitting game like you always do just say what is coming to your mind and what I realized was that again I was letting my feelings my emotions of overwhelm and all this planning for these more elaborate workout videos and you know sequencing them together and following the strategic plan in order to grow my channel I was letting that prevent me from taking the action that I needed to take and the action that I needed to take was to be a man of my word and what I said I was going to do was release two videos so the point of this video and the message is again you will not always feel like doing what you need to do but the most important thing is that you stick to your word and you do what you say you're going to do on a consistent basis regardless of your emotions now there are going to be times you know again i always use the workout example you get off work you're tired of shit you don't want to go work out it doesn't matter you gotta go you just gotta go and what we do is we got to shut our minds off and just go and get the task done as far as what we committed to because that's where discipline is built that's where structure is built that's where accountability is and then that's also where confidence is and I've spoken about this before is because when you say you're gonna do something and you don't follow through you know what happens you self sabotage your confidence and your self worth because what you're saying to yourself in that moment or when you don't follow through with the actions that you said you were gonna do, you're saying, I'm not worthy or I'm not good enough to follow through and do what I said I was gonna do. I'm not good enough to fulfill my dreams and make this happen. And then subconsciously what you're doing is you're telling yourself you're full of shit. So that the next time you say, or you have a goal that you wanna do and say, man, I'm gonna get that done. I really wanna go do that. You don't believe yourself, you're full of shit because you self-sabotage yourself in these small little ways by not following through, not being a man or a woman of your word. So you've got to follow through. So again, this video today is just about following through and doing things when you don't feel like doing them. Do not let your emotions run you. Now, on that note, however, I will say this, is that listening to your emotions, your feelings, or at least being aware of them is important because the last video that I put out, I believe, was, well, it was about mental stress, but I put out a, a video before, you can check it out, was um, about how your emotions are kind of your guidance system to tell you if you're on the right track or not. So if you are repeatedly feeling like shit, use that as information and a signal and become aware of what those emotions are trying to tell you. In other words, an example would be if you go to work every day and you just fucking hate it, you can't stand it, great. Those emotions are information as to something that you don't like. 
So that is information that you get to use and say, okay, well, it's time to make a move because I'm clearly not happy doing this. So it is important to be aware and understand the information and the messages that your emotions are telling you. However, it's more important to not let your feelings, okay, don't let your feelings and how you're feeling prevent the actions that you need to do in order to create and manifest what it is you're trying to achieve. And there is also an important distinction with that is the distinction between emotions and feelings. Your feelings are fleeting. It's like it's like a fart. <laughs> like it just comes and it goes. So if you are always running your life on just how you feel, again, there's not a lot of structure to that. There's not a lot that's going to get done. You've got to develop a baseline of discipline. Now your emotions, your emotions are different. Your emotions are uh, what you're emoting, what you're expressing, and with your emotions, again, it's information. Your emotions are information. Your feelings are a fleeting state that can change in an instant, just like a breeze of wind. So be aware of what your emotions are. Do not be run by your feelings. Follow through with your word and understand that these things are very important to your self-worth your self-confidence, and ultimately your vision, which I've also talked about. Because when you have a vision that you're connected to, and something that you want to do, and you consistently connect to that vision, well then the feelings and the emotions are taken out. And then you've built the habit of being disciplined and following through. Now all of a sudden your self-worth, your confidence, your belief in yourself improves. As these things improve, and you consistently execute on a level, you're building momentum. And that power of momentum is a very, very, very powerful force because you got to think about it. The snowball, right? I've used this example before. It's hard to, you know, move the boulder to push it down the hill. And, you know, and it takes a shit ton of effort to just get it even moving. But once it hits a certain point, all of a sudden, little by little, you start going, you start going, and then it gets faster and faster, and all of a sudden the ball is rolling. So you just got to get the ball rolling. So that's it for today. I just wanted to get on here and let you know that it's important to follow through with your word. Don't be run by your feelings. Create the consistency and the momentum, and then be aware of whatever your emotions are telling you. Not your feelings, your emotions. There is a distinction there. So that being said, I do appreciate you tuning in today and checking out the video. There are going to be some amazing videos and content coming up, especially when it comes to working out. Uh, gonna be much more um, in depth. You'll, I mean, you'll see them when they come out. So stay tuned for that. Please like, subscribe, uh, comment. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to talk about whatever. If you have any questions directly, you can always email me and that's in the link in the description. So again, you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will talk to you soon.